Hello everyone and welcome to another battle report on the Rogue Dice. I'm once again joined by Tom. Hello. And he's brought his golden boys and he's even wearing the correct t-shirt. Sure. I like it, he's come in the correct t-shirt. Officially from Games Workshop. Please sponsor us. Uh, so before we go through <laughs> the army list, there is someone who is sponsoring us and that's Living Realms. So if you check in the description down below, there is a link to their website and a cheeky little discount code to get yourself some money off some GW goodies. But let's go through the lists. Yeah. I will go first. So I'm playing the Orcs. It's going to be a 2,000 point game. I have brought a battalion. So it's pretty much the list that I ran against you. Against your chaos. Yes. So, so Crumpington is leading the force. So I spent one CP already to give him the biggest boss because he's the biggest, meanest Orc around. He's also got that killer claw because it's amazing. So re-rolling all hits, re-rolling all wounds. And he's probably wounding most things on twos. Yeah. Even your golden boy is on twos, which is pretty what sweet. strength is it? I think he ends up going... I think it's times two strength, and I think he's strength five or six. I it could be wrong. Wounding on threes, then? Wounding bikes on fours? Bikes are tough It doubles six. my strength. Oh, That's the okay, I got you. Yeah. Got you. It's like a power fist. Yeah. But the good thing is, because it's the killer claw, he doesn't have the minus one to hit. That's so good. She's really good, and on the turn I charge, it's four damage. Yeah. Three normally, four on the turn I charge. It's pretty spicy. That's really good. He's backed up by the weirdest boy in town. He doesn't have a name yet, but it's my weird boy. I spent the CP on the warped to give him an extra power, so he's got the jump and warpath the jump. Didn't get used in our last game, but warpath did. Yeah. And he was very, very good when it's on a big blob of 30 boys. Yeah, I think you wiped 30 cultists straight away. Yeah. I didn't even go through all the attacks. We were all just like, it's yeah. just, just a roof. Because then I can spend two CP in a fight again. Dirty. It's pretty gross because obviously it's an old codex, so yeah. the fight again still in it because they've sort of got rid of the fight again. Like Space Marines, it's only assault Marines that can fight again. Okay. They've changed it now because it used to be anything, but now the medics yeah. so it's just assault Marines, which is which is better because then you just have like Vanguard veteran squads fighting yeah, again. Yeah, Death Company. Yeah. Oh yeah, my Death Company fighting again. It'd just be bonkers. And then finally, Big Mech with a custom force field because I need. Something better than a six up save. Yeah. So I've got a five up save. Could matter. It's me, so it probably will matter. Yeah. We'll have to see. And then onto the troops. Bog standard, 20 Gretchen. Yeah. Sorry, 15 Gretchen because of points. I normally take 20, but I'm down to 15. 20 slugger boys, 20 shooter boys, 30 slugger boys. We like it. I can't wait for the new codex. Because choppers probably will get minus one. Oh yeah, because they're so big. Well, we've already seen a preview and it'll already be out there. So, yes. Savage Orcs on the squigs. That's All of the squigs. I'm so happy. There's going to be lots of squigs coming to this channel. Be it in Age of Sigma and 40k. So yes. I'm very, very excited. Then, in my elites, we have five commandos who are just there to be sneaky. Yeah. Snag me an objective or something like end of game, near end of game. Oh, do scramblers. 45 points. It's, it's so good. Could win your game. Literally could win me the game. It's mad. Five Mega Knobs, the Royal Guard of Sir Crumpington. Yep. So they're all armed with the uh, Mega Shooters, the Custom Shooters, and the Power Claws. Then I have ten Tank Busters. They're going to be riding around in a truck. I really like Tank Busters. With Orcs, I never take big shooters. I try not to, because if I'm going to shoot something with Orcs, I'm probably not going to hit. And if I do hit, I want it to die. Yeah. So Rockets are better. It's more likely to die. Also, the flat free damage, so they're way better than Space Marine Rockets. Yeah, really. But the issue is, is trying to hit, because you're Orcs. Then in heavy support, a Bone Breaker. We love the Bone Breaker. Really good. The Bone Breaker's so good. Uh, that is armed with four big shooters. So unfortunately, I can't put rockets on that, so that does have to have big shooters. Yeah. The Killer Cannon. And yeah, that's it. 215 points of meanness. It's so good. Still can't get over the fact it's like 15, 16 wounds. It's bonkers. It's really good. And the fact that it hits on twos in combat. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Hopefully I'll run over some golden boys. Hopefully. Oh, it's more wounds on charge. Uh, if I use a stratagem, yeah. Okay. But it's only D3. Could st still kill one. Yeah, yeah. And the, the uh, It's got six attacks base. Then when the turn it charges, it gets an extra D6. Yeah. And its roller is like flat two, minus two. So it's, it's pretty good. I think it's minus two. It's flat two anyway, damage, which is really good. Yeah. Then we have five flash kits. What can I say? Flash kits are just awesome. I love the models. They're fancy art pirates. Yeah. They're amazing. 
I feel like my normal boys are going to bounce off you. You're being custodians, so they're mm. loads of being big hitters. Really. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to drag you down with weight of attacks, but yeah. we'll, we'll have to see. Then I've got five looters. Ideally, I'd want to run a blob of 10 because you just roll D3 shots, and that's for every model. So you just roll yeah. it once. If you roll a five or a six, you get 30 shots, and it's pretty gross. So then you put more dacker on them, so you roll uh, 30 dice, then any fives or sixes, yeah. do the dacker, 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 so you get to go again. Then we have the burner bus, the burner bomber itself, which actually, to be honest, probably not effective against you. <laughs> We're saying this now. <laughs> if, if we look at our future self in the first game. Tom might be in the corner crying, yeah. and I might be going, oh god, what have I done? But to be fair, we had a, a chat in our... In his group. group yeah. And yeah. So we all had a chat as a group, and I said, Tom's running custodies, I've got the burner bus, do I use the burner bus? And in the end we decided, because Tom doesn't have too many models, yeah. like I'm not going to get loads of mileage out of the bombs. Well, if we look at the game against Necrons, where yeah. I was against the Nightbringer, I believe, Yeah, yeah. that's a load of mortal wounds, so I don't think I'd be able to yeah. do anything against that. But because it's just one use... Yeah, uh, yeah. A couple of uses. It's, yeah, two uses, and I can make the bombs bounce, and then if I blow myself up, that's it. I'm yeah. just doing three mortal wounds for everything within six. Is it having a shooting attack? So yeah, it? it's got some shooting, so it's got, like, shooters and... Because usually... Yeah. I used to just fly it in and just blow it up. <laughs> it like, never gets a chance to shoot. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to do I think I shot it against Chris in the first ever game I used it, but Chris yeah. were like... I'm not having that around, because literally next turn I was just going to turn, fly over like a big unit and just detonate yeah. in his lines. Because he'd moved over to deal with these orcs, I'd called back in with Green Tide. Yeah. So then all his army were clumped and I was just going to position it really nice. <laughs> but Chris decided to blow up because he's mean. But yeah, that is my list. It is 1998 points. Cool. A good year, a fine year, the year of Pokemon. So it's a good year. I don't know how this is going to go. I think... I'm either going to get rinsed off the board of shooting, yeah. or I'll be able to drown you under weight of yeah, like just like massive bodies. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. But yeah, Tom, take away your list, sir. Yeah. So today I'm running Shadow Keepers again. I was really good. Thinking about running um, the one where I can deep strike units and roll 3d6. Oh, yeah. Every single time I deep strike units, I lose. So. Yeah, I'm staying away from it today. I've said for ages now, like, we're deep striking. I feel like your army's really small anyway. Yes. So if you're taking stuff off the board, you just, you're losing so much. It's crazy. Exactly. Like, armies lose loads anyway. Like, if you do the odd unit, deep striking or outflanking, like, if you've got eradicators, outflank yeah. them so they don't get blown off board and you can, like, bring them on closer to a juicy target. But if you take loads of stuff off, I think you just lose too much yeah, exactly. weight from your army, if that makes sense. Yeah, we'll see how it goes today. I do like deep striking, but I'm, I need to try and play it a bit better this time. Um, so in two HQs, I've got Trajan Valoris. So the man himself. He's not got a Warlord trait or anything. Okay. Because um, someone commented a... Well, two people commented the list in the previous game. And the two HQs were Trajan and the Shield Captain on bike. Oh, uh, okay. So... I've seen in the Facebook group as well for Custodies, everyone's running this at the moment. Ah, so is, this it, the, is this the in thing for yeah, Custodies it's, right it's now? it's expensive because it's yeah. just under 400 points for both of them. <clears throat> but the, the sheer amount of will that they can cause. Yeah. Because um, Trajan's got the free stratagem to use. Oh god, yeah he has. Game. Once per game, yeah, um, that's huge. Then the bag captain, so he'll be my warlord today. So it's the fil filthiest loadout it can have, really. I so like it's it. Got the Oric Quillis is his relic, so that's the free up and vulnerable free roll charges. That's good. That's uh, very good. Wallow trait superior creation, so he's ignoring wounds or mortal wounds under five plus. He's going to take so much to shift him. And then he is the captain commander, so I've given him indomitable constitution, so he gets plus two wounds. So there'll be nine wounds. <laughs> Two up save, ah! three up and vulnerable, five up, feel no pain. Yeah, that's not wrong about that superior creation. My goodness! And I've give it. I've spent two CP to give him victory of the blood games as well. So I'll be re-rolling one hit roll, one rune roll, or one 
Armor save? Armor save, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's really good. Yeah. It's it's only one of them per f per player turn. Oh, okay. So it's not as good as the Gift Blood Angels one. Yeah, the Gift of Farsight is yeah. amazing. But I'm ho hoping they'll probably change it to you that do. sort of word. Yeah, yeah. I reckon you'll get... it'll If that stays in your codex, yes. it will get the Gift of Farsight worded, definitely. Yeah. Touch rod, because I really want it. It's really good. And then, as for the troop choices, so I've got two units of guard, so two with spears, one with sword and board. Nice. Just your standard. Yeah, yeah, really. that holds your objectives, can't they? Since the um, points redux reduction as well, it's only about 135 points for a squad of three, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, the storm shield and sword is seven points extra. Oh, so that's it's all right. Seven points for a storm shield is I think they, pretty good. they both dropped four points, so it's in the custodians list. Yeah, four yeah. points per model. Obviously, that's bloody huge, you know. Yeah. Custodians list. And then, as for elites, I love dreadnoughts. So love two Galactus dreadnoughts. Ah, that's yeah, that's that could be a problem. And I've spent a CP on both of them to give them eternal penitent, so they'll be rerolling charges, <laughs> and they've got plus one attack. Ah, yes. Yeah. Hopefully, I. Get rid of them before they do some crumping. Yes. It's going to be horrible. And they've also got the ability, which is just built in, so D3 extra attacks in combat. That's um, built in? Yeah, so it's such no matter ability. whether they charge, if they're stuck in combat. Ooh, just gonna, I didn't just know that. I thought it was a charge. No. Oh, that's really good. So it's, they, they do pack a punch. They're really good, and the models look amazing. Yes. So yeah, we're, we're just saying off camera, because they're multipers. Yeah. You can literally build them how you want them. Yeah, they look so good. So they look very dy dynamic. And then, as for fast attack, two squads of three versus Predators. The good bikes. When I, when I was building the list, I was going to go with a squad of six bikes, but then I thought, if I go a squad of six bikes, I think you two, can just put everything into them. Yes. And I think two squads of three is better, yeah. and I am terrified. I like, I've got a force field, like, to save me, that's it. Yeah. Ooh, that could see, be horrible. See what happens. Yeah. And then a new addition to the channel. I've got a Calidus Grav Tank. That's what it's called. I didn't know its name. Yes. So, I forgot what the gun is called. Yeah. But it's basically got two profiles. So, it's got a burst or a beam. The beam's D3 plus 3. Then the burst is just a single damage. So, similar to the... I'm going to say it's like your, uh, your Telemon, yeah. Yeah, so it gives me a lot of versatility. Yeah. And it's also got another gun that's like heavy 8 or something like that. So, I think he'll be firing 14 shots a turn. That's decent. Which, yeah. Um, decent row 5. So, we'll see what happens with that. It's 225 points, so it's cheaper than the Telemon Dreadnought. Because Telemon Dreadnought's 260. It'll be interesting to see the rest of his stats when we're in game. Yeah. Um, but I, I've got no idea whether it'll Because I well. think I can get a Reaper for like that amount of points. Yeah. So we'll have to have a look. Could be terrible. But yeah. Oh, it could be really is. good. Yeah. This is the thing. It could be terrible against certain things, but against Orcs, if you've just got high rate of fire, well, which you've got a lot that's of, thing I've built you're winning. Like, it sounds bad when I say this, but I've tailed the tail of this list to Orcs mainly. Just because... Makes sense. Um, I've lost a lot of games on Custodies are really strong. Like, I, people have said, like, we spoke about it, literally just before yeah. we started filming, that Tom said, like, loads of people have said, like, the second list, sorry, Tom's seen stuff where, like, they're winning. And I've yet to see a game online where, yeah. like, I've seen Custo Custodies winning ninth. Yeah. Like, so I'm the complete opposite. And obviously, I've only played against you and your Custodies. Yes. And every time we've played, I've been like, oh, they need such, like, a help. And. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see how this list does. Now it's specifically tailored against me. Yes. Yeah, it's just a lot of shooting. Yeah. And quite a few models as well. Yeah, so yeah. Let's see what happens. And the last heavy support is the Telemon Dreadnought. Nice. So it's got the fist and the um, gun. So the gun will be the burst or beam again. Yeah. And the fist is four damage in combat. And then uh, it's got a flamer as well on it. That's it's funny that your fist is four damage when you're a massive dreadnought, yeah. and my war boss does four damage as well. Ah, yeah. uh, orcs. Yeah, so that rounds my list out at nineteen ninety nine points. Oh, nice. So a point advantage. Yeah, which I will blame if I lose. <laughs> but we will be playing No Man's Land uh, from the main Warhammer rulebook, and we will be back with the deployment after the mission screen.
Today's mission is No Man's Land, a strike force mission for the main Warhammer 40,000 rulebook. Six objectives are placed around the battlefield. The primary objective is take and hold. This is a progressive mission objective. You score five victory points for each of the following. You control one or more objective markers, two or more objective markers. You control more objective markers than your opponent. This primary objective cannot be scored in the first battle round. Here we go, we have deployed Quick scan of the battlefield. The Custodes on my left, the Orc Horde on my right. Tom, would you like to go through your deployment and your secondaries? Yeah, certainly. So I've deployed kind of safe. Yeah, must Because I don't want to clump up everything and you burn a bomb and do three mortal wounds to everything. It would be pretty grim, to um, be fair. So I've gone heavy on this flank. So I forgot to mention in the intro, these bikes have got the missiles yeah the white backs have got the which is pretty easy to remember for yeah. us really because it's just remember black and gold missiles and yeah. then the white ones are the hurricane bolters then got the guard in cover saves then telmon call this new tank. tank next to trajan so they'll be re-rolling re hit rolls are one and one rolls are one very nice um shield captain at the back yep just to try and cover a bit more um Two dreadnoughts trying to cover this area as well. Then custodian guard just on the other side, just as a presence on the other side. Yeah, just to give yourself something. So what I've done is I've basically deployed. Basically, I have to take, always take up all my deployment zone because I'm orcs. Yeah. But I have deployed a bit stronger on this flank because I saw Tom went heavier on that flank. So we're sort of like going to swirl round, and then there's obscuring in the middle. So it, it could be interesting. But. So Crumpington's Royal Battle Wagon is there, the Bone Crusher, the Burner Bomber is there, ready to shoot across the board and do something. I don't know what he's going to do, because you're not really a hard army where he excels, yeah. so it's going to be weird. Uh, shoot boys, truck, looters, my two support characters, the mech and the weird boy, big clump of sluggers, commandos who, because of the No Man Land mission, had to deploy my deployment zone, but because we are Lucky Blue Gits, they do have objectives secured. Yeah. So as Tom pointed out, maybe I could jump them onto an objective or something later on in the game, which would be pretty good. Grots, uh, flash gates protected by the Grots for the Grot shield, and then 20 sluggers over there. That is my deployment. Oh, the tank busters are in the truck as well. Sorry, okay. I should ask. Shall we roll to see who goes first? Yes. Um, then after that, we'll give you the secondaries as well. Yes, we do. I'm going to get a green dice. So, okay. Tom, you go first. A three. three, so that that's reasonable. Yeah. I roll a three, of course. Right, go on then, Tom. A one. A one. I don't like. I don't one. like this. Oh, is that re roll? Oh, no worries, sir. A one. You're too honest, Tom, for your own good. A five. <laughs> it would have been. Did you roll a five as yeah. well? So there we go. The Ox will be going first, but before we do, Tom, secondaries. Yes, so uh, I've gone for the secondary mission. Yes. So uh, depending on which battle round it is, I score a point equal to... The battle round. Yeah, yeah so good. say that we get to the final turn, hold three objectives in the middle, I get 15 points. I think it's just the middle one. Oh, is it just the literally the middle? Yeah, so at the end of each of your turns, if you control the central objective marker, cool. it's the one smack bang in the middle, Depending on what turn it is, that's how many points you get. It's still good, though. It's still really good, yeah. yeah. Uh, I took first strike, Ooh. which is interesting. Tom's trying to hit me hard in the first turn. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, it's doable. If you kill something in the first turn now, yeah. then I don't have to focus something. That's very true. That's a good way of looking at it, actually. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Um, but if I kill a unit yes. and kill more than you, I'll get eight points mm, first turn. Okay. So it could matter. It could not. Yeah, you, don't. you never know. Then I've also got line breaker, so I just need two units hurled within your. It's doable because yeah. you've got the bikes, so it is doable if they survive and the shield captains and stuff like that. So it is very doable for you. Yeah. Is that all your secondary, sir? It is, yeah. So the primary is five points if you hold one, you hold two, and you hold more. So with that in mind, I've took domination because yeah. if I hold oh, more than you. Yeah, well, I've got that many bodies, and there's five objectives. When there's five objectives, I always take domination. Yeah. When there's four or six, I never take it, because it's then it's a bit awkward. But the way that the missions are laid, the objectives are laid out on the board, just makes it a little bit easier to do that. Yeah. I've also taken engage, because 
There's a row of objectives in the middle of the board, which I want to be on, so then I'm probably going to nudge over and go in your deployment zone. Yeah. Well, not deployment zone, but the other quarters, so that should get that. And then I have secure no man's land. Exactly the same as Tom, because I want to be holding three objectives for the primary. Yeah. Three objectives for domination, and I've got a nice little L. So that one, that one, that one. I can ignore that side of the board, which is why I've deployed stronger over on this side, because yes. Tom deployed stronger over on that side. But your bikes are really fast, yeah. so it might not matter. But we will be back at the end of Orc Movement Turn 1. It is the end of Orc Turn 1 Movement. So if we start first things first, the Burner Bomber. Of course. It's flown, because, you know, what he does. So he's flown over all these, but he's going to drop bombs on the guard. Yes. So I'll just do that right now. We'll get it out of the way. So this is on far ups. Uh, you take two mortal wounds. Yeah. I'll just put it on the spear. Yeah, it's fair enough. So two mortal wounds. Job done. And then, mm, I'll come back to him in a minute. I yep. don't know if I pop him. How many wounds has the bike's got? Four, so you won't even kill him. It's not him. even worth it. I might, cause I might save him for later on to like, because he can come off the board, yeah. come back, and then there's a threat that he can blow up and like take the last mortal wounds off something. So if I keep him around, it might be better served. Yeah, actually. exactly. I was saying to Kyle off camera, if, for example, my guards were all down to one wound, yeah. uh, sorry, one guard, sorry, you can just wipe him off the board. Yeah, so it's better saving it. And then over on this flank, the slugger boys have moved forward towards that objective. Uh, they've just slowly moved forward. The Gretchen have moved forward here. In fact, I would have advanced the Gretchen. Yeah, because so. you won't be on objective if so, not, would you? Yeah, so that's another five. So I'll move them in a second. I'll leave the dice next to them so they'll be on my objective. Yeah. The flash kits have moved forward, so they're in range of the tank or the Telemon, which is there. The tank busters in the truck have moved forward. They're in range of the tank or the Telemon. Over here, the shooter boys, they advance, they don't care, because they're hitting on fives anyway, and the yeah. guns are assault, so I can shoot guard. Very orky. Yeah, exactly. Just got to run it. The battle wagon with Crumpington has moved forward, ready to possibly smash into some custodies guard, although if I smash in, I mean, I'm going to get countercharged either way, probably by the Telemon. Not Telemon, by the Achilles? Galata Achilles is the other one, I think. Galatas. By the Giletto Dreadnought. Uh, and then <laughs> the looters have stayed still, the commandos have stayed still, so I can jump them somewhere. The big blob of 30 sluggers have stayed still. You can probably guess what I'm going to try and do. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that is the end of my movement. We did two mortal wounds, so I'll let Tom mark that up, and then we'll go into the psychic phase. It is the orc psychic phase. Me and Tom had a little chat. So I'm going to do jump, as you might have guessed, the 30 sluggers. So he can tangle foot, which means that I'm probably not going to get in. But I'm still going to warpath and to jump on the off chance that Tom rolls really low for whatever reason. Yes. And I can still get them in. But also, Tom spends a CP. It puts a huge amount of pressure on his front line. It blocks him off from an objective. And it forces his firepower elsewhere if he wants to deal with them. Yeah. So overall, I think it's a good idea. Well, see, everyone knows CP is precious to me. So yeah. one CP away from me is worth it. So first off, I'm going to cast Warpath. The yes. weird boy is there. He's getting plus three because there's more than, because there's more than 30 boys. So, Warpath is cast on a five. It goes off on a, a level. And then we will cast the jump. It goes off on a nine. Is that perils? That is perils. That is very annoying. So, in true arc style, I take two wounds. That's not very nice. Okay. So I take two mortal wounds. Because he does say 12 plus, because normally... You only miscast on a 1 or a 12. Yes. And you can't get any modifiers. If I Say if you were Eldar and you had plus 1 to cast for whatever reason. If you rolled an 11 and you went 12, you wouldn't miscast. But the Orc Weird Boy does say 12+. plus. So we're assuming it's not higher than 12. It's 12 yeah. and above. So I'll move those. And then we'll go into the shooting. It is time for the shooting phase. So the Orcs did jump up there in the psychic phase, as we can see. But to kick off the shooting phase, the Tank Busters in the truck here... It's over top so they can fire up. I'm going to shoot uh, Tom shine your new tank. Yes. And Tom has spent some CP. Yeah, so I've spent two CP on Emperor's Auspice, so it denies you any rerolls against the grab tank. Which is good, because I reroll all hit rolls because of tank buster. Yes. So. And it'll deny you lucky blue bits as well. I get no lucky blue bits, so I can't reroll a wound roll. I'll roll it here, Fisa. So I'm hitting on fives. Uh, okay, so the only two that actually hit got me daka daka daka. So. They're really nice dice. They're very nice, aren't they? Oh, you got me an extra hit. So if I'd have re-rolled, just off on the off chance, Tom. Yeah. 
That I wouldn't have, <laughs> have mattered anyway. <laughs> but you never know. No. So I am strength eight. I think I'm strength seven. Do you want to roll it and we'll... We'll roll it and we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll check, because that three might have wounded or not. Yeah. Okay, so I've double checked it is toughness seven, so it'll be five up uh, save. So I make one, fail one. Three damage? Three damage, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, t I'll just take it. I'm... How many wounds does he have? I think he's got 14. Oh, that's not bad. And I don't think it'll bracket him either, no. so... We can move on to the next thing. I'll just gather my dice. It's going to be the flash gits into the same target. Yeah. So the flash gits here are going to train their sights with their snaz guns at the grav tank over there. I'm going to spend two CP, I believe it is, but I will double check. On more Dakar. So I'm Dakar Dakar Dakarin on fives. Yeah. Flash gits hit on fours. It's pretty good. Yeah. So here we go. So let me take out the regular hits, of which there's two. Yes. And then I've got to roll an extra. Four. So they've hit as well. Yeah. But then I've got to roll four. And I get an extra hit, so that's pretty decent. I can live with that. And because of your annoying stratagem, no re-rolling anything. So you're tough to seven, aren't you? I am. That's annoying. I'm strength six of fives. Oh, that's pretty good, though. That's good. So four have gone through. Is there an end? There is indeed, sir. The rend is minus two, two damage. So five, I've got, I've only got two dice, so I'll just roll it twice. So two goes through. Two so far. So four in total. That's not bad. Uh, Down to eight. Yeah, I think that's... Wait, no, seven. I'm bad at maths. Seven. Yeah. I'll, I'll just take it. I'm not going to re-roll. I, I need my CP, so... If I roll a six, they get to shoot again. Okay. No. I, I was really panicking then. It's not happening. I don't know why I rolled an extra <laughs> dice. I can't re-roll it. Right, so yeah. That's them done. I'm going to see how many shots the looters get. Okay. And then I'll gather the dice up. Just one. And Five. you can't re-roll it. <sighs> Five shots. That's upsetting. <laughs> okay, hitting uh, into the tank as well. Yeah. I'm a little bit upset by that. So they're daka daka daka, so that's fine. So I'll roll an extra two dice. Uh, no more hits. These are on fours. Oh, two wounds. These are minus one, one damage. Uh, three up. Uh, four up, sorry. Oh, two damage, sorry. So they're minus one, two damage. So I've lost another four wounds. Another four wounds. That's all right. So you're on seven. You're now down to three. Three. Do you know what? That wasn't that bad. That was really good. You took 11 wounds from me. That's pretty good. So you're definitely bracketed. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> now for the ultimate insult, let's see if the grots are in range like a pistol you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so the battle wagon, the bone breaker, is going to fire everything into the grav tank and hopefully finish it off. So we're going to start off with the kill cannon. It's three, three shots. I can live with that. Let me get, oh, there's three dice here. That's handy. Hitting on fives. Oh, would you be glad to know that the kill cannon daka daka dakas? Remember why orcs are so bad to play against? Oh, when you roll like that, I'm doing a little dance off camera. No one can see. Do not put the camera on me. Thank you. I'm going to roll the wound. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, oh, look at blue gits. You can't. Fit the wound with the wound, Tom. <laughs> Two wounds. Uh, I'm guessing it's good AP. Ugh. Oh, do you know what? It would help if I could remember my rules. It's minus two, two damage. Yeah, so... Wait, no, it's not. It is! I looked at the roller, but it's also the same damage, so it's fine. Oh. So, mech one, fail one. Are you on one wound? I am. I've got big shooters. Let me see if the big shooters can do it. So, here we go. Big shooter time. Okie dokie. That's a lot. That's a lot of dagger dagger. Okay, so that's... Four. Oh, that's a hit as well. That's lovely. I think you're a magician or something because this is insane. I'm a weird boy. That's what I got told all the time. Okay, that's an extra two hits. Uh, these are winning you on fives, though. Okay. I mean, yeah, whatever. It's just going to be one on games. Uh, <laughs> seven wounds. How? You've got no, no AP, so it's on three ups. Yeah. I'll just, Come on now. Just roll these. Yeah. Oh! Get in the bin! Does he explode? One more! No. Oh, that's alright. I, I feel like every game that I bring a new model, it just dies first turn. It's new model syndrome. I'm sorry. It's alright. 
It did take three units to shift it, but that's But to be fair, that happens. is a lot of firepower to kill one unit. Yes. But it, it, you saw the orc firepower there. Like, the yeah. tank busters were meh. The flash kits were a bit better, and then the looters were terrible, and then I just rolled ridiculously around with the bone breaker. Yeah. It just happens. But yeah. It does. That's, that's him gone, and I'm going to gather some dice because I'm going to shoot some custodian Okay. Guys. It is time for more shooting. We have the shooters. They are going to shoot. There's a lot of shooting going on. Over into the custodian guard. So they did advance. So they have minus one. I'm going to do it in the dice tray. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. So I need sixes. So that is a lot of sixes. Is a lot of sixes. And do you know what the fun thing about sixes is? It's daka daka daka. Is that question mark a six or is it? It's a one, unfortunately. But I will re-roll for lucky blue gates and I rolled into a six. I'm sorry, Tom. It's uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, so far, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So, two, four. So, these are the daka daka dakas. I only got two extra hits. Oh, well, yeah, that's all right. So, I got 13 hits out of 40 shots. What's your strength? Strength four, good sir. Five, five. Five. So, I've got... Uh, Reroll one. So only that four point. go through, and there's no AP, sir, so... I'll just put it on a spear. Hopefully I get a wound. That's all I was hoping for. You can have two. That's very nice of you. You're very generous, Tom. I like this when you're so generous. Well, it's a year of giving. So. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Well, I don't even know what to say. Oh, also, uh, I went to shoot with the grots, but Tom reminded me they advanced. He's very cruel. He wouldn't let me shoot yeah. the pistols. But I did give you an extra wound on my custodian. But you did, yeah, you did give me a wound. So first Tom taketh away, but also he giveth. So that is that. I need to think if there's anything else to shoot with, but there might not be. And if there isn't, we'll be back in the charge phase. So before we go into the charge phase, there is one more bit of shooting. So the slugger boys teleported in with a jump. They're going to put 27 slugger shots into the custodian guard, hopefully get rid of the last wound. Three of them were out of range, so they're going into the bikers. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do them after, but we're going to have to use the dice tray. So hitting on fives. Okay, so let's remove those hits. Let's do a lucky blue kit, which doesn't do anything. So that's Another hit there. Oh, thank you, sir. So that's actually... Not that painful for you. Probably average. <laughs> uh, two daka daka dakas. Of course. <laughs> Naturally. So, we're only on fives. Naturally. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> oh, God. What Do you know what's game? even worse? <sighs> I'm going to roll, and then we're probably going to get like five ones. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, okay? I can't help that? it. <laughs> Seven? Uh, six. Six. Yeah, six wounds. <laughs> I'll just roll them here. No problem, six wounds! Give me a one! Right. Well, that, that made up for the... Giving a, give it away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, three pistol shots into the bikes. I'll just roll them here. Yeah. Of course, there's a daka daka daka. It doesn't hit. He doesn't wound, so that's fine. So, we'll move on to the charge phase, but, Tom, you're doing something, aren't you? Yeah, cheeky tangle foot. Cheeky tangle foot, so he's gonna roll that now. I'll roll it here. Yeah, so Tom, roll your tangle foot. Yeah, he's not getting yeah, in. Yeah, I'm not getting in. Right, that's not very nice. But I wanted to teleport anyway, because it puts pressure on that flank. Yes, and you've got that objective as well. And I've got that objective. So I actually have four objectives currently, which is interesting. So at the end of my turn, I am in free table quarters. Is it holy within? Uh, yes, am I not holy within? Just got that guy and two people oh, on enough. objective. I'm, so, not, I'm not holy within then. Uh, I thought I'd, I was holy within, but I must not be. I think it didn't you know because I'm nine away. That's what's done it, yeah, yeah. So that's fine. So I haven't got, I've nearly got engaged. <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> close. Um, domination, three yes. points. Yeah, good. That's all right. That's a pretty quick orc turn, to be fair. Oh, do you know what? Charge. We have finished. We have finished yeah. charges. You, I nearly forgot then. I, yeah. I'm going to spend uh, two CP. I'm going to do the ramming speed on the bone breaker, and we're going to go into the custodian you guard over there. 11 inch charge, or is it a 10 inch? Uh, it's 10 or 11, so we'll do. I roll 3d6, I pick the two highest. 
Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, that, unless it's an 11. Unless it's an 11. That's a ridiculous roll as well. That is 11. an 11. You want them to use CP? <laughs> yes, because, worth I, it, it? because I know how much it'll upset you. Oh, wait, no. I don't have here we go, so I'd have to roll both. You'd have to roll... All three? Yeah, all three, yeah. Okay, I've spent a CP. That's fair enough. No, that's sad. Sad now. The sad orc. Sad Kyle. Wag. The sad wag. Um. Yeah. All right. That was all right. So end of turn wrap up. I got three points. So yeah. I'm in the lead. Kill, that's kill my right. tank. Kill the tank. That's really good. Which is how many points? Two hundred and twenty-five. Holy moly! That's a lot of points. Okay. Yeah. I. I oh, that's all right. Yeah. It's pretty good. And it puts pressure on me as well for first strike. Do you know what? I've not shot the burner bomber, so I should probably do that because I'm used to blowing it up. Yeah. So let me check its stats and we'll fire it. I know this is out of sequence, but normally I've blown it up by now. <laughs> so the burner boss is going to fire his twin big shooter. So it gets plus one to hit because it is the grot gunner firing it. So yeah. hitting on fours. So this will be into the guard. Uh, yes, sorry. They're into yeah. the, the... You at home. Uh, it's going to the custodian guard. So I can try and get rid of that last wound. So, I do have Lucky Blue Gits, so yeah. I'm going to save it for the Super Shooter, actually. Is that two damage? It's got AP. Okay. Uh, which might help. Cause you're, oh, wait, it? what's your save? Is it a two? So, it's two up save. They're in cover, so... One up save, but one always fails. So, even at minus one, yeah, it doesn't been... matter. So, I'll just re-roll it now. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it wounds on freeze, so I'll take it, actually. Yeah. Uh, so, I've got two Daka Daka Dakas. Uh, I get another hit. Naturally. <laughs> so, wounding on fours. So, one wound. So, in? no, sir. It is. So you <laughs> are absolutely just, fine. It's arms, arms hanging off. That was about it. So, the super shooter. Do I only have one super shooter? I have one super shooter. So here we go. Ooh, I'm going to re-roll the hit. Lovely. I'm going to roll another hit. Oh, would you look at that? Booting on freeze. Oh, my God, I'm going to re-roll. Oh, nearly. So three wounds. What would the strength for that were? Strength six. Oh. And it is minus one, which doesn't matter because you're in cover, so anything but a one, Tom! Two ones. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah, I managed to succeed in getting a custodian guard, so that's fine. Yeah. And then that is finally the end of my turn, and we will be back at the end of Tom's movement. Okay, so into turn one, I've just moved everything. So I've run this guard unit just so uh, they're on the back objective. I've moved these forward. Uh, actually, I'll just move them within an inch. Yeah, yeah, so you can't. Because they'll still be in range to shoot their missiles at the yeah. bomber. So the shield captain's moved up, so he'll be providing the um, rerolls. Re Very nice. This guard unit with the hurricane bottles have moved up. Telemon's moved up as well. Um, and the two Dreadnoughts moved up, so he's in range for it with his Flamer to shoot at the Gretchen. Poor, poor Gretchen. And then these two units have moved up to try and counter your ba battle wagon, is it? Yeah, battle wagon, the bone breaker. Yeah. So I've spent three CP at the start of the round to increase the range of my uh, big mech force fields. It's catching basically all of my units now that is it are able to benefit. For the rest of the turn? For the rest of the oh, turn, so yeah. Three CP is not that bad. Though. No, it's all right. Yeah, I thought it was just for a single... Certain no, but I think it's only in shooting that they get the force field. Okay, so, so in combat you won't. Be I there. won't get it, no. But I'd get my six up because of Lucky Blue Gates. Yeah. So. But, but yeah, that was. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of shooting, so I'm going to decide who I'm going to shoot with first, and we'll show you that when it comes to it. So into the shooting phase, I'm going to choose the Vertus Praetors first with the missiles. I'm going to do the Melter missiles into the Burner Bomber. So I've spent a CP on them. So it's that the archaeotype munitions, I think that's where it's going. Yeah. Um, so it means if the damage goes through, I can roll additional d6 on the damage. Oft. So it's it could be tasty. So I'll just roll it here. Yeah, no worries. So hitting on two is re-rolling because of the captain. Uh, hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Because I'm a flyer, but it doesn't matter if you hit anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hit everything. Woody on threes? Yes. Then re-rolling because you're a vehicle. Vehicle. It mattered, so it's minus four end. So, so I six up save. my lucky blue gits. So let me get some dice. Come on now, give me a six. No, no, they have both gone through. This could so be very painful. First one, 
Six. Uh, I think he might be dead. Second one. He survives. Four. Ten. I'm thinking about how it's, many wounds he got. It survived on two wounds. So he's got 12 wounds. Yes. CP. What does his movement go down to when his bracket hit? It's like, quite a lot. Yeah, it's like 20. I mean, he's off the board, so he won't be here next turn. Yeah. It'll be turn three, he's back. Uh, tough. No, it I'll is a tough call. CP. It is a really tough call. Yeah. Um, mind you, no, I'd need to get a six to re roll, so I won't spend CP because okay. I'm betting on getting a six, so it's really not worth it. So you're down to two wounds. I am right? indeed, sir, yes. Um, what I'll do is then, I'll fire the captain into him. Yeah, see if he can blink it, he yeah. might do, you never know. So hitting on freeze because there's a fire. Yeah. Uh, rear on the one. No, it's got a bit and wrong. And then I'm guessing it's five, the wound. Uh, toughness six, strength four, yeah. Uh, just two. Just two, no, no minus. Right. So three up. Uh, yeah, just three and a four. Okay, I thought I'd roll the two then. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> um, what I'll do is then I'll just have a think what I want to shoot with next. Because I'd spoke to Kyle off camera, I want to try and kill your weird boy. Yes, because he's, he's out of the lookout sir yeah, range. He's four inches away from the truck. I have made a mistake! So I just need to work out how many dice yeah. I need to risk to roll, if that makes sense. That makes sense, I get you, sir. So we'll be back in a second. Tom has picked his next target, but before we do, I made a mistake. Yeah. I have a four up save, not three up save. So actually, one of my armor saves from the shots from the captain failed, so he's on one wound. Yeah, so that's changed things for me, because I was deciding whether to shoot the weird boy with the burst or beam. Poor weird then, boy. Uh, but what I've decided is I'm putting the bolt launcher into the burner bomber. Yes, from the telemon. And then I'm putting the burst into the weird boy. Ouch, that could sting a little. So I'll do the weird boy first. Okie dokie. So hitting on twos. I'm wounding on twos because you're toughness four. Right? I am indeed, yes. So both go through. It's minus four, three damage. Uh, so it's just the force field. Uh, it fails both times, so I can't save him. Yeah. Uh, so he's dead. So that's one of dead. my... Well, I've got five points anyway because the first strike. You have indeed. So I just need to kill one more unit to get the extra three points. Which is huge. That'll give you eight. Yeah, it's really good first turn. Um, and then bolt launcher. So hitting on freeze because you're a flyer. Yes. That's not bad. No. Uh, what's your... Tough to six. So wounded on fives, re-rolling ones. Ooh. Of course. Okay. Of course. Of course, there's no ones <laughs> and you roll a four. <laughs> well, that happened. You've uh, still got five points though, so yeah. that's still so good. I'm just going to see whether I can shoot anything else at the Burner Bomber. If not, I'll be focusing on the Gretchen instead. That's understandable. Okay, so back onto the Talamon. I forgot to use his um, Twin Plasma on his fist, so it, it works like a 2D3 Flamer. So these are the shots. Going into the Gretchen. So five shots. The poor unlucky Gretchen. About Wounded to on barbecued. twos, re-rolling. Oh boy. So five go through. Uh, so it is custom force field time. I save four. Wow. So that happened. I'm at it again! So I lose a Gretchen, so I'll, yes. I'll remove him. That's a thing, but and yeah. And then I'm going to fire all my rapid fire um, hurricane bolters into the burner bomber. Yes, yeah, so from this bike squad here, they're going up into the burner bomber. I'm not within rapid fire range though, because oh, okay. custodies don't get the. Biker it's just Space Marines, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sir. So I'm hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Not a problem, sir, because you're re-rolling... a lot of twos. While Tom removes those, Trajan is here, so he's giving the re-rolls to the bikers. So from that, I rolled seven twos. Oh, my goodness. So that made up for it. And it'll be hit... Five. on fives, re-rolling ones because of Trajan again. That's one, two, three to reroll. So convert to another one. So three have gone through. That's your four up save. So I've got a four up save. I've failed two, so I can't even reroll it. Yeah. 
So, uh, I don't think anyone's in range for an explosion, but it's, it's a one, one anyway. One. So it's fine. So he explodes. And uh, doesn't kill anyone for once. Yeah, he doesn't kill anyone for once. That's eight points on so yes. far. That's yeah. really good. So I'll remove him, and then Tom can think about where we're shooting next. Okay, so into the next person to fight. Well, shoot, sorry. So this Glatus Dreadnought is going to shoot into the Gretchen. Yes, flamer time. So 2d6 auto hits. Oh! Seven. I'll take that. This could be very painful for my poor Gretchen. I think it's deserved. Five. <laughs> it's rolled five, four, five up. There, that is true. I did pass a lot of custom force fields. On twos, I'm guessing. Yeah, it will be. And rerun because of Trajan. Nice. Uh, so one fail. So that's four, a ten go through. Ten five ups. Here we go. How many do I pass? I pass one, two, three. So I lose seven. Grots are barbecued. So I will remove those in a second. Do you have any more shooting? Uh, I do, yes. Okay. I'll let, let you remove the Gretchen, then uh, we'll go to the other side for the other Glatus and the guard to shoot as well. Not a problem. Okay, so going into the other side of the table now. The guard are going to shoot into the truck. I mean, I appreciate the effort and the gusto, because uh, they need to do something or they're going to get flattened. Yeah. So it's understandable. Uh, well, now that you've said that it's wounded on six, they might just... Do it into the shooters. I'd, I'd, I'd do the yeah. shooters. I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll do everything to the shooters just because. So Of this, course, there's a This is the sword. No problem, sir. Doesn't do anything. Oh. And Well, I, I can't complain after the shooting phase, sir. So. Uh, hitting on twos with the spears. Then wounded on fours. Um, two go through. Five ups! Pass one, fail one. So I lose a shooter. It's all right. That's not bad. Any more shooting, sir? Yes, so I've got the Galatus now. Ooh, what's he going to do? I'm going to do the flamer into the truck. Uh, into the... Into the shooters? Or the bone breaker? I'm thinking about doing it into the bone breaker because it'd be wounded on fives. Yeah. And wounding the boys on threes. I might be able to plunk. A couple of wounds? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. So 2d6 auto hits. That'll do me. Then wounding on fives. Quite a few actually. That's not bad actually, yeah. Four in total. And I believe it's minus one rend. So it will be fives again then. Yeah, minus one rend. Fives. Uh, yeah, that's the thing yeah. that happened. I passed two. So it loses two, down to 14. Cool. Because it's a monstrosity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's all the shooting done. That's a really good shooting yeah. phase. Like, like I said in the intro, this is very heavily featured towards Orcs. If the Grav Tank was here, I yeah. would have wiped probably another unit. Yeah. But I, I can't complain. He's really good. Yeah. So I will mark up my Battle Wagon, and then do you have any charges? Yeah, I've got quite a few, actually. Not a problem. We'll be back with Custodes charge phase. Okay, so into the charge phase. As ta tabletop titans, let's say... A, B, C, always the charging. Yes, that's very true. Literally everything except from one unit's going to charge. Wowzers. So I'll start on the far end first. Yes. So the custodian guard are going to charge just into the truck. Yep. So I'm guessing they need a five. That's yeah, that they're in. So the... one time I actually roll a nine plus. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the Galatis the... is going to charge both units. Very nice. Four, that won't be in. Ooh, ooh. So I've got a reroll. Reroll. Six. That should just be in. Is it into both, though? This is the question. Nah, I think that's out. Just out. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is tight. It is. But I've stopped the truck. That's true. You've stopped yes. the truck. So the truck isn't going to... The guard very bravely have yeah. charged the truck <laughs> before oh, we are that strong. They just stood there like... I like to think you're lifting it up and it's yeah. things spinning at the front. Uh, I'll do the other Galatus Dreadnought now, into the Gretchen. So I need a 10-inch charge for this. That's overkill. That's not very nice. You don't have a re-roll? Free roll. No. No. Nope. He stubbed Nothing. his toe on the ruin. I'll it... send the Talamon in. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, no! No! Tom's broke! Oh, <laughs> no. It, it 
It's only Gretchen. Why is he so scared? Uh, there's a lot of rubble. There's a lot of rubble. He's he's got rubble and dust in his joint. Adrian, but I think he'll probably die if he does. Leave him in there. I if you charge out and kill those Gretchen, I will blow him off the table. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna warn you now. <laughs> the bikes. I've got a reroll though. CP reroll. Oh, you do. What do you actually need? So that's a five. Yeah. What would you prefer in the Telemon or the bikes? Oh, big questions. Oh, God. Big questions. So that's a nine inch charge. Okay. And you have a CP reroll. I'm not going to charge in. Okay. I'm quite comfortable where I'm at at the moment. Yeah, that's fair enough. So I'll do this bike squad. Yeah, that bike squad's going into the boys. Well, I'll do these so uh, they can move this way first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how far you get to shove them across. <laughs> I mean, it's good enough. <laughs> Oh, Tom, what are you doing? Everything. I mean, he's not going wrong because you're in, so it's fine. Yeah. Now you've got room for the other boys to go in. Shield the... captain. Oh, shield captain. That's enough. That should be... Yeah, seven, that should be in. Yeah. That could be a lot of dead boys. And then... The squad of three bikes. The three bikes. Seven. I think we said it were an eight. Oh, boy. Measure that up, Tom. I trust you. Breach. Uh, we'll double check that because I think it's only infantry. Okay. But we'll, do we'll, we'll double check. If they breach, are they in, basically? Yes. And if they can't <laughs> breach, they're not. Let us check the rule book. And have you got any more charges, though, before we do that? Uh, no, that's it after that. So we will be back in the actual fight phase and then we'll let you know if they got in. Correct. Okay, so into the charge phase. Well, the fight phase, sorry. The charge yeah. phase have already happened. I did actually have enough movement. Yes. Just because I measured, so I measured four inch around. And then you had enough to get in. in. Yeah. yeah. And they're fighting first. Tom had a big think. Yes. Yeah, because the boys are, have got five attacks each, which is bonk. They've got more attacks than the custodian at the moment. Boys, 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 boys. Silly. So I'll go with this bike squad first. Just wait till they get two wounds, Tom, and an extra attack. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Does it I... will. It's going to happen. What's going to happen is I'm going to kill all the shield. <laughs> I'm going to some of the models and put them on the basis of trophies. <laughs> right, come anyway, on then. Hit so me in the face. Hitting on twos. V-rolling. Good job because I've rolled three twos. Of course. A oh, full house. Then I'm wounded on three to re-roll. Very well. nice. Re-rolling everything because they charged. Yeah, and you've got the lance. Just really? drop two. That's, That's not bad. All right. So that is ten in total. I have ten dice. Six I have up six ups. I've dropped a dice. Three. Three? I can live with that. So it's I lose. It's your roll and it's ob obnoxious. So that's seven lost. So I'll remove seven boys and then I'm going to interrupt. Yeah. Because why wouldn't I? So it's time. I've interrupted. So we've had to split the attacks, but all the arcs are in. So I've lost seven. So there's 60 yeah. attacks going into the black and gold, and then 55 going into the guys who have already attacked me already. Yes. So this is the first 30 into the black and gold. So let me uh, remove the misses. Do like you know what you're going to use your this. lucky blue dice on? Uh, I'll do it now. Which doesn't do anything, so they're not those two. Yeah, here, so yeah that's fine. Um, so that's the first lot. One on I roll on all at once. Uh, how many have I got? Sorry, actually, yeah. T attacks, so 14, 16 hits, 16 hits so far. So back in with these. Let me remove the misses. That looks like a really good roll. I'm losing the ability to pick up dice. There we go. So we've got 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Just under average, so it's not yeah, bad. It's not bad. So this is the hard bit. I've now got to, first of all, pick up this huge pile of dice. And then secondly, I've got to wound you on fives. Okay, so I'll remove the failed wounds out of here. Yeah. And then I get to reroll one of them. Man, I wish choppers gave you better strength or an AP. That would be very, very nice. I feel nice. like it's something to come. Yeah, definitely. And then the lucky blue gates uh, doesn't do anything. So out of that, you've got three, six, uh, ten saves. 
So ten two ups. Yes, sir. Three six ten. Two ups, isn't it? Two ups, yeah. No AP, sir. So you fail. Two. Two. Yeah, I'll I'll just. That's fine. So you take two wounds. Yeah, there's no point using a CP when it's not going to save anything. I ex it's what I expected. We spoke about this pre-game, and I was worried that the orcs would bounce off. Yes. And it's, it's, it's what happened. But it's what I expected, so it's fine. So I'm going to gather 55 dice and then do the, <laughs> the custody. So we'll be back in a second. We will throw 55 dice into the white guys. I've done it. I've created a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. It's 55d6. That looks like a good... I mean, I can't tell if it's a good roll. <laughs> it's just a mess. So let me get rid of... Oh, no, because you, need, you should get four. Just under 40? Just under 40. Okay. So I'm not sure how many has gone through. I'm just going to roll it. I'm not even counting. Uh, fives! Okay. Uh, that Take... Oh, that was a hit. That's pretty good. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Better than the last one. Yeah, better than the last lot. So fourteen, two ups. Good, sir. These are on to the ones that have already attacked, but it's just because of how I spread out on the objective. Yeah. I've just dropped two dice. That's always fun. Absolutely fine. Wow. There you go. That is exactly what I expected to happen. Yeah, so it's fine. So it is back to you, Tom. I will take yeah. the camera off, Tom, and you will continue your rampage in combat. Cool, so into the next combat. Because Kyle's already interrupted, I'm just going to do the shield captain and the other bites because they're all the same stats. Yeah, hitting and wounding on the same, yeah, so it just speeds things up. Yeah, I've got 17 attacks. Oh boy. On twos. Rerolling the ones. Full house. Then wounding on freeze, I believe. And I get to reroll because I charge as well. Very nice. Uh, drop two. Uh, say 17. Yeah, so 15, yeah, 15 wasn't 15 it? Total. So I'll just gather some dice and I'll roll that up. Here we go. 15 six ups. Uh, two. So I lose 13 <laughs> boys. So the squad is not wiped, which is the thing, yeah. but that's 13 down. So I remove those. Is there any more combat? Yeah, there's just the guard at the upper side as well. I forgot about those plucky little guard holding up yeah. a battle wagon. I like it. So I'll remove 17, uh, not 17, 15 boys, and I'll be yes. right back. Okay, so into the guard now. They're going to try and smash this truck to bits. I like it. So hitting on twos. Here have... we go. Um, combine the sword and the spear attacks because the wounded on fives, whatever, and they're both minus three. So I drop two. And then here comes the hard bit. Uh, just two. Minus. Minus three. Uh, so I get no save. Oh, I get my lucky blue gates. What am I on about? How many went through, sorry? Just two. Just two. Uh, yeah, just two. How much damage? D3 damage each. Uh, yeah, I'll take that four damage. Four damage, so it is down to ten wounds, and then I'll attempt to run you over. Yeah. So I will pass the camera to Tom. It is time the Bonebreaker will fight back. It's got six attacks. I am hitting on twos. Full house. And then what we do is we wound... Oh, what's your toughness? Five. Toughness five, yeah. Uh, I'm currently strength eight. I get... Plus one strength, so when you on freeze. Uh, get clan culture, so lucky blue gets it. Full house. Six wounds at minus two. Minus two. Two damage. Okay, so I've got to roll these one at a time first until the spear dies. Oh, yeah, because you've got the spear and then the storm shield, of course. So that was easy. So oh, okay. the, the spear's dead. And then just five at once. Uh, was... I've got the spear as well. Oh, no, is there another spear? The I've got the shield as well. Oh, so I'll roll two okay. at a time now. I didn't spot, I thought they had the... So, it's down to one. Oh. So I've rolled three so three, far. Three. Yeah, three and so far. went through six. Six, yeah, full house. Yeah. So, four up. So the spear's dead. And then... Then the sword guy's fine. Very nice. So that actually, that was all right. Yeah. The bone breaker. Doing work. So that thing leaves. is, you're still in combat with him now, so it's they've done the job. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. So Crumpington is though, because he's going to get out. I forgot about him. Rip. Oh yeah, rip and tear. <laughs> but Tom, how do you think your turn went? 
really well. I'd I feel like it went really well yeah. for him as well. I've got eight points because of first strike. Yes. Uh, I didn't get the secondary objective. No, because I'm still on that with the pesky little Gretchen. And I don't. To be fair, the more I think of it, I don't know why I took line breaker because I don't really need to be in your deployment zone. Yeah, you can just sort of shoot me, but yeah. we need to do some morale for me. Yes. So for the Gretchen, they, they're automatically failing. I can't pass. So Unless maybe... you roll a one. Unless I roll a one. Thank you, Tom. No. So I lose one, yes. and then there's two, four, six. So two. So four, that's six. under half strength. I'm it? leaving it up to the face. I lose another two. Yeah. Look at that rolling. Obnoxious. So I lose another two, so I still have that objective. <laughs> yes. And then the boys over there. Uh, yeah. To fair, I'll pile in there just so I've got a couple yeah. more. That's fair enough, dude. Models on the objective. And then. Uh, yeah. Right. You just give me a second because I need to have a think if it's worth spending two CP and not risking losing any arcs and stuff like that. So just give me a so second. So here we go. I'm a man with a plan. We've measured up the distances. Tom's got three models on the objective. I have ten. So yes. first off, I lose one arc. Unless you roll a one. Unless I roll a one. No. So that leaves nine. Yes. Two, four, six. Eight, nine. So, so here we go. You need to roll seven ones and twos for me. I rolled three. Four. Four. That's not. So that's I lost five. Me. So it leaves five. Yeah. So that's okay. So I still have the objective. So that's fine. So I'll remove those, and then we were back at the end of my movement phase. So it is the beginning of arc turn two, so at the start of the turn, I gained 15 points, which is huge, Yeah. because I control more objectives. So what I've done is I Unstoppable Green Tidered over here, the five boys have been removed off the board and put behind Tom. So I thought about taking this objective, but yeah. then me and Tom had a chat, and I'm much better tar pitting his bikers there, hopefully. Well, thing I is it, if you... Down. Put them near the infantry, I could just tangle foot and That's just very true, be yeah. Open up so it'd be horrible. The, so Grumpington is very upset that you decided to target his battle wagon. So he's got out and he's going to deal with this dreadnought. The shooters, just securing the objective, put fire in. The mega knobs there. Tank busters roll forward. Little blockade on there, so you've got to deal with a tank and then them inside. They're going to shoot the Telemon, probably. Oh, no, that's toughness seven, isn't it? Yes. Probably shoot that. Um, flash kits have stayed there because they're going to lend their fire as well. And them sluggers as well, sorry, have moved up so they can then charge in and tie up more bikers. Yeah, we'll get into the shooting phase and see how it goes. The shooting phase has begun! The tank busters in the truck are gonna shoot at the Achilles or Giletto, whatever he's called. Gelatinous. 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 We got it there in the end. I've spent two CP on Emperor's Auspice again, so that's, denying re rolls. That's against him. not very nice. So I'm gonna shoot you in the face. So hit on fires. I mean, you were them sixes. <laughs> okay, so that's four hits. I get two extra daka daka dakas. I don't get anything off it, which I'm, you know, is what it is. Freeze! There we go. Three wounds, sir. Minus two. So I think he's got a four up invulnerable because it is the old shield. So two go through. He's down to five wounds. So six wounds, but is he minus one? Does he have the yeah, yeah. So he takes four wounds. Yes, yeah, so down to five. Nice, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot the flash kits at him. So just let me get 15 dice. So the flash kits, I'm gonna open fire into the Gelatinous, whatever he's called, uh, to hopefully finish him off. I just keep getting the name wrong, just yeah. if I can upset Tom. It's not working though. I've spent two CP for more Daka. So what's good is if I roll a six to shoot again, they keep the more Daka. That's good. That's really good. So here we go. Hidden on fours, I could have done with a reroll, but Tom's me and he got rid of them. Actually, do you know what, Tom? So they all hit, but do you know what the fun thing is? Because I paid for more Daka, they're all Daka Daka Dakas. That's fun. Just horrible. Three, six. That's seven Daka Daka Dakas. I quite like that. Oh! I got another two, so that's not bad. Yeah. So, I am wounding you on fives though. I didn't get one. That's wound. more like it. Holy moly! That was a thing that happened. Yowzers. The right. ba balance of dice. <laughs> okay, that happened. Big shooter from the truck into him as well. I'm just shooting everything at him. Oh, I've hit you once. That's unfortunate. I've wounded you. Take that, sir. Any rend? Uh, no. It's big shooter. Two up. Rend. Here's fine. Yeah. I think it's two up anyway. 
I'm sh I probably is, is it? Yeah, to us. Custody. Um, I'm gonna shoot the. Now I'm gonna check the stats for some shoot. Oh, rocket from the war boss. Yeah, it's got a custom rocket, so I'm gonna fire it into the one that's the one that's damaged. wounded. Uh, I think that's a miss because I think even though he's a war boss, he still hits on fives <laughs> because just, it's orcs. Just so funny. Um, I think he hits on fives. Yeah, he hits on fives. So that's a miss. Fair enough. The Mega Nobs are gonna add their weight of fire into him. He's down to how many? Five. Is five. Okay, let's see what we can do. That was a lot of sixes. Oh boy! So I am hitting on fives, but how many sixes? We've got two, four, five, six! Six sixes. Crazy. That's pretty good. So they've all hit. Dugga, dugga, dugga. I get another hit, which is fine. And then this is the hard bit fives. Uh, three wounds. So basically, on your two up, sir. I'm just trying to chip. You got one. Take that. I've chipped your paint. Have it. Not going to spend the CP or anything. It's not worth it. No, it's just one wound. Um, and then I've got some sluggers to do. I've got 20 sluggers there that I'm going to put into the black and gold bikes to just give me a chance to get some dice. So over here, the sluggers that move forward, they're just going to put 20 slugger shots into the black and gold bikes. Let's just try and plink a wound, I guess? And Is... that's the first time you've not rolled a good daka daka. Do you know what I've realised? My war boss can re-roll because he's got the lucky blue gates. It can't because it runs the dreadnought. He can't because Tom has rules that are mean. Uh, so that's an extra hit from the daka daka daka. That's not very nice, Tom. Aha! I've wounded you three times with pistols. What, what's the strength? Uh, four. Fair enough. Any rend? Uh, uh, no, no rend, no. Damage one. Yeah, damage one. <laughs> Take one. a wound! Do it. They've not lost anything, sir. So. Well, they have now. Take that. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to measure up some more, and then we're back with you in a second. So, the sluggers are going to shoot their pistols into the black and gold, trying to plink some wounds. Uh, okay, that's some sixes. Another one there. Uh, Look at the luggets. Oh, yep. Thank you. To I nearly re-rolled a hit then. That would have been silly, wouldn't it? That I'd actually hit. Nope. Can you actually re-roll any dice? Yes. So it's one hit and one wound. So you could, you could re-roll a hit in theory. Yeah, you could re-roll a hit to try and get a daka 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 if yeah. you really want to push the boat out. Which would be silly, but also very arky. So there's three daka daka dakas. Of course. I've just rolled three sixes. Okay, that's the thing. What is wrong with me? Fives. Three wounds, once again, sir. Can I chip some more paint off that lovely armour? Uh, another wound. Oh, yes. I like it. So now that's done. That's all the shooting. So we'll be back in a second with the charge phase. So it is the orc charge phase. We're going to kick off with the biggest charge. It's this one over here. So I'm going to declare uh, the two units here. So that's a captain, isn't it? Yes. So the captain and then the gold ones and then those orcs will go into the everyone here, basically. Yeah. So I'm going to bog them all down. So, I need a nine. I do have, here we go. So I can reroll both or one of the dice. So I keep the four. I need the five. Don't like this, it's not very nice. Nope, not in. Failed. Failed. Yikes! Right, the boys in front. They're gonna die a horrible death. Oh, really? Of course. Right, so they're in. So they've got an 11, that's annoying. At least you've still buckled me in combat. I've still got you in combat, so you, as long as I don't get wiped. I should. I shouldn't get wiped. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I can, I can keep you bogged down for another turn, so you lose shooting. That's the main thing. I want to type your shooting. And then over here, they can't fail their charge. But I'll just roll you see need where to they choose go. one first. Oh, you've got flavour, haven't you? Watch, yeah. Uh, Mega knobs. I'm going to have a watch. That's fair enough. So, uh, down to one CP. Yes. Auto hits. 11. Holy Ooh, moly! Wow. Uh, I think that's Five. a plus four, but I'll double check. It's a toughness six flamer. Uh, so three anyway. So eleven go through, um, and I am wounding on threes. So there is three misses. So that's eight go through, minus one render, single damage. Nice. I like it. Toasty mega knobs. So though, wow, I failed quite a few there. 
Uh, so I failed five. So that is actually one Mega Knob is burnt to a crisp. And another one is reduced to one wound. That's very sad. Are oh, there three wounds each? They are indeed, sir. But they rolled uh, eight for their charge, I believe. Well, so I'm going to yes. move them round there, like so. And then crumping to Yeah, he'll just go in. So he's in. Um, he's in. Oh, he's in. He's in. Did I remove Mega Knob? No, that's the one I wasn't meant to remove. Okay. That is all my charges. Yeah. So, we'll be back in the fight phase. So here we go. The 20 Slugger Blob have piled into the bike because I'm just trying to tap hit them. I'm swinging into the white blob because Tom has informed me they can interrupt. Yes. So I need to deal with those. So the first 20. So we have, that was a three, so I don't know why I've took that out. Two, four, six, eight. 10. You can re-roll that. Was that a one, one or? It was a one, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just re-roll it. It's hit! So that's 12. Yeah. 12 hits. Second lot. So the third lot. So 38 going into the final 20. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. 53 hits. That's pretty good. So, I do this twice, but add three more into the second pile. Okay. So, winning on fives. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's really good. That's ten wounds so far. I'm quite happy with that. And then add three into this last pile. Uh, so, that is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, re-roll one. 21. Yeah. 21 wounds! That's, re That's really, really good. I feel like a bike's gonna die here. Hopefully I can drag a bike down. 21. 21, good sir. Do you need me to take the camera? Uh, no, but you I'll just good? roll 10 dice twice. Oh, yeah, that works. Just saves me carrying loads. Well, yeah. 10 dice in 11. Yeah, yeah. So that's only one wound. Yeah, so that is one die to one wound down. And then again. That's so that's another. Two wounds. Yeah, so. Killed, killed one bite, then one's down to three wounds. Wait, that's alright. That's alright, I can live with that. So next, I will gather. Sir Crumpington's dice, and I'll swim with him into the Dreadnought. Sir Crumpington is off into the Dreadnought. Six attacks, hitting on freeze, because he is minus one to hit in combat. Re-rolling. Very nice. And then freeze, re-rolling, because of the Dracula Claw. That is a five wounds, and I believe... It's four damage, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I believe so. If you just go and roll ahead, I will check. I've got a four up in vulnerable, so... No worries, sir. Uh, that is none. <laughs> oh! Let me double check that it is indeed four damage, uh, because that could be one very dead dreadnought. So, it didn't matter. We didn't need to check the stats if I yeah. was flat four damage. I think I'm four damage on when I charge with the killer claw, but if yeah. it's three damage, you took fail five, so it is dead. But does he explode? Not like this. It does. Oh, that's amazing. How much damage does he do? Uh, he does. Is it going to be like one? D3 mortal wounds on a, within six. Nice. So I think my dreadnought's <laughs> in as well. It's going to hit your guard as well. Oh, is it? <laughs> it might. Does it hit the battle? Yeah, it hits the battle wagon and it hits your guard. So that's quite funny. So hit the dreadnought as well. I think it. Does. Yeah, it will do if it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. So yeah, shall we? Uh, do you, do you want me to roll them? Yeah. So, your Dreadnought, are you ready? Takes two, so he's down to... Six is to ignore. Oh, yeah, so he's down to three. Yeah. And then your guard three. dies, of course, naturally. And then the Battle Wagon takes two. two. So he's down to A. The Mega Knobs, uh, the one one wound dies. Yeah. That's quite funny. We need a three on Crumpington. So Crumpington! One. So he's down to six wounds. Yeah. Is where it is. Yeah, sorry, that was fun. Oh yeah, he's dead. Sorry, we didn't play. Um, 
I was going to fight with the battle wagon, but I don't need to do yeah. that now. So just me attacking with the bikes now. Yeah, just you attacking with the bikes. So we'll be back after Tom's done that. Yeah, I might as well roll all of them at once, won't I? Yeah, you might as well. Okay, so into my retali retaliation. Oh boy. So all the bikers are going into the boys. It's happening. Not like this. So I've got six, not 16, that's bad maths. So I've got six bikers left. Yes. So that's 24 attacks plus one for the captain. Nice, so there is 25. probably wipe the boys maybe? So we have got three ones to reroll. So if you could drop those ones again, Tom. You dropped one, that's nice of you. It's, so, it's average. Well, so threes now, isn't it? Yeah, but no re-rolls. Ooh, right, okay. So, bad roll, Tom. Bad roll. Come on. What have you got? That's quite a few drops. Um, I mean, I'm still going to lose a lot of boys. Five, nine, ten. Fifteen. Ooh, that's painful. Okay, lucky blue git time. Can I save any of them? Just one. Just the one, so I lose 14 boys. Not the face, it stings. So, there's no more fighting, so I might as well do morale now. So yeah. I've lost 14, there was well, 20. Go on, talk to me. Do you want to pull first, because they're now piling, trying to get onto the objective? That is a very good point, Tom. Let's do that. So we're back in a second. So it is the end of the orc turn two. So I obviously failed morale. And I only lost one orc, which is ridiculous. So, unfortunately here, I wasn't able to keep his captain based, so his captain's going to be able to escape. Yeah. But, I decided to let his captain go, and I'd rather that Tom got five less points. Yes. Because, as I was saying to Tom, then five points could literally win or lose me the game. So, for a turn, I think it went incredibly well for me. Except yeah. the fact that I think I forgot to shoot my looters. Someone's going to let me know in the comment section if I fired them or not, but yeah. I feel like I forgot. And then I, I can't remember if I rolled for my looters I can't or not. remember. I think I didn't fire them. This is the problem with playing a game and recording. Yeah. <laughs> brain's gone. But I end turn two on 27 points. And I'm on 13 at the start of turn two. Yeah, because you're going to get five. Yes. So that is pretty big, which is, again, which is why I wanted you not to get them five points. Yeah. Because it closed that gap. So, yeah. I'll take the camera off, Tom, and we'll be back at the end of Custody's movement. Okay, so into... Turn two of Custodes. I've scored five points for the primary. It's not great, but it is Yeah, I had to let your shield I'm, captain go. Yeah. It had to be done. I'm going to struggle to get the primary early game. So I just need to keep hammering Kyle's units. Yeah. Getting rid of units so then I can just... Get primary. Game, yeah, yeah. Because you might get primary at the end of the game. And to be fair, you've done something cheeky, which I'm sure yes. you're going to show in a second. Yeah, so I yeah. retreated the... Um, the bikers. Yes. So they had enough movement to get in Kyle's deployment zone. So you're getting four points there, so you've technically only lost one point. Yes. Because I denied you five, but you've got four for linebreaker. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. And then the shield captain's advanced, so he's in there as well. So that's four points this turn, which is huge. Yeah. This unit has just stayed in combat. I'm... Pretty confident yeah. that they'll be able to... <laughs> they should, should, fingers crossed, they should easily kill those boys. Well, the leadership's four. Yeah. Because there's only four of them, so... Touch wood, in theory, they should kill them. Yeah. So, uh, in the middle, my Talamon's moved up, Trajan's moved up, and the Galatas has moved up. Very nice. If I can try and kill the truck, the Gretchen, and possibly this blob of... Uh, flash gits. Flash gits. I'll be in a good position. Yeah, in a really good spot. I have no idea how this game's going to end. I don't know where it's going. But I, I need to try and kill the truck, but I haven't got enough uh, firepower now. That's the only thing. We'll and and the guard have just moved... I'll move them back a bit more, actually. Yeah, they're just... just uh, they're a bit further away. You can advance and charge, but... Yeah, because of my war boss. But I probably, to be honest, I'm going to leave them. I need to deal with stuff yeah. in the middle. I've lost quite a few units now, however, I'm still in the game. Yeah. So, I'll go with shooting phase. Yes. Do you want to go straight into it? Yeah. You've got your dice ready, we'll sir. We'll Trajan first. Yes. So, he's going to shoot into the flash gate. Oh, that's not very nice. So, hitting on twos. Yes. And Trajan. Putting, on pushing it close there, mate. Both go through. Minus one, Ren, two damage. Uh. 
Lucky Blue Gates, one survives. And in fact, the big mech's there, so one survives anyway, and then one is dead because okay. it is two damage, so I lose a flash kit. And then. So it's still in range. Yeah. So I'll use this flamer next into the. Flash kits. Flash kits. So oh, two we go. Six auto hits. Seven. That's not bad. That's... It's all right. It's one of the things where it's. You want to re-roll it, but it's average, so... Yeah, it's better off leaving it, because you know if you re-roll it, you're getting snake yeah. eyes. Um, and it'll be freeze to win re-roll ones again. Re-roll and then free ones. Trajan, doing some work for you. That's huge. So I've got seven go through. Minus Ooh. one rind, a single damage. So, it is on my Big Mac. Ooh, I'm falling over the table, which, funnily enough, I save... Uh, uh, there was seven, so... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so I lose two flash kits. Two more have fallen. That's not nice. Colts are uh, going with the Taliban now. So the flame is going to go into the Gretchen. Uh, I'm still thinking what to do, really. Uh, loot has one wound. They are indeed. I might just put, yeah, I'll, I'll put the burst and the bolt launch into the looters. Yeah. Because I've killed quite a few flash gates. Yeah. So I've um, wound you quite a bit. So 2d3 auto hits. Nice. That's five. That should be the grots gone. So twos, rerolling ones. Oh. Four. How many have you got left? Four. The <laughs> grots good job. are removed from the board. And then we've got five shots with the Spickle Spot Launcher. Into the looters. So hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. What's your toughness? Toughest four, sir. So wounded on threes. Rerolling the one. So two go, sorry, three go through, minus one rend, two dam uh, one damage. I get no save, so I lose three. Three looters are blown to bits. And then I'll put the burst profile into him. Yeah. So it is hitting on twos, reroll on one. Then wounding on twos, uh, three, sorry. And that is them removed. They are a force field range. Do you know what? Lucky blue gates. Yes. So the bolts saved one. And then how many wounds went through, sorry, with the. Three. Uh, I can't remember. Three, I think. Three. So I actually... One left. Uh, so I saved one. So one died, because I removed three. Hang on. So I saved... I lost three. So uh, so two, So I saved two. 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 And then I failed two. So yeah, there's one left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were right. Yeah, yeah. We've had that so much harder. Way harder than it needed to be. That's my fault for forgetting my own rules once again. Uh, I think that's everything. Okie dokie. So oh. on to charges. This no, is we're a just... really quick turn. Yeah, well, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to charge everything into the truck. That's not very nice. So, Talamon first. He's in. He's got a six, so uh, I'll just plonk him there. Yeah, no worries. Uh, Trajan. He's in. And then Galatas Treadnought. Five. Yeah. So I'll just move him up to there. No worries, sir. How many C how much CP have you got? Like? I have none. Okay. So, so do what you will. <laughs> so we'll be back in the five phase. Okay, so go on with the Telemon first. Oh boy. So it's got his big fancy fist. Hitting on twos. Then wounding on I'm guessing it's gonna be twos. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, so four go through. Uh, I have no safe, I'm assuming. Four damage. Uh, so I'm just going to ramshackle. Uh, none of them get reduced. So that's 12 wounds. I believe the truck dies. Okay. So I, does... I get an extra attack anyway, just in case. It doesn't explode. Okay. So what I need to do is I now need to roll 10 dice for the tank busters to see how many die inside the truck. Three. Three, so I lose oh, three. What was that red one? One, two, three. Yeah. So I will just remove the truck. I've got to deploy them, then remove the truck. Yeah. So I'll quickly do that now. Cool, so going with the bikers now. So I've got eight attacks in total. Hitting on twos. 
and then wounding on freeze. Oh, uh, that's really good. That's really, really good. How many is that, sir? Three, six. Six. I will gather six dice. Last time you did this. Uh, I don't. I save one. I lose five. There's like four of them left. Yes. So they are wiped, sir. And that's my objective. That is now your objective. So I will not get that, which is a little bit upsetting. It's not very nice, Tom. Uh, that is everything. Sweet. Just score four points for Limebrook. Which is huge because it clawed back nearly the five points that you lost. Yeah. Well, I lost ten points because you you got fifteen. Oh, do you, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Good point. But still, it's four points. Do you get any more points for anything uh, else? No, because no. I killed the truck. And it's the... Oh, yeah, you, so Tom popped the truck, the tank busters got out, and the tank busters are objective secured. Because they're lucky blue gifts. Uh, they lost three, so there's a blob of 20 arcs well, within six inches. Yeah, yeah. Are they, yeah, they're within six. Yeah, they? within six, so there's 20 of them, so they're fine. Uh, the flash gets, I will roll morale now. A five, so I lose one more. Uh, so it leaves one, one. And he stays. That's a four. Uh, the looters. Uh, he's just going to run? Oh, one. No, it's a two. I've lost four. I need to yeah. check his leadership. Give me a second, and I'll let you know at the end of my movement phase. Okay. So it is the end of the orc movement phase. I gain 15 points again at the start of the turn, which is really good. Yes. So I'm pulling ahead. So the battle wagon has swung around here. The shooters have stayed on there. No, they haven't. The shooters in a second will move up on there so they can shoot through. Yeah. But I'll deal with that in a second. Or do I? Mmm. No, they're going to stay there. Yeah, you need to be on that objective. Objective. The Mega Knobs have moved up. You tangle foot them, you horrible man. So he rolled a four, which means their movement's four, so they moved zero. But I advance because I'm going to wag yes. with uh, the war boss, so they can then charge after advancing. The tank busters are there holding that objective. I need to tag Trajan to stop him from consolidating well, heroically intervening into them and killing them, because that yes. would be very upsetting, Tom. That's basically it. Oh, the boys over there have moved up. And they're going to try and jump on the bikes and get that objective. In theory. So, it's the shooting phase. I'm going to shoot... Uh, everything from this into that dreadnought on four wounds. Yeah. So, the kill cannon. Five shots. Come on now. I need some some uh, some shenanigans. Okay, I'm gonna get shenanigans. Okay, I'm gonna. That was the daka daka daka. Yes. So the one that missed, I'm gonna re-roll. Okay. Just to explain, I've rolled it out the tray, and that's why I missed. What toughness are you, sir? Seven. So when it gone freeze, I was gonna re-roll one, but it doesn't matter. It is minus two, I believe. Uh, four up then. No worries, sir. Ooh. How much damage? Let me check. It is the cannon of the killing. How much killing does it do, though? How much killing could a kill cannon do if a kill cannon could kill? What? <laughs> two. <laughs> so, Tom, uh, are you doing your filling up pains now? Or am I yes. Do, do them now, do but then I'll do my big shooters. No, so you want one wound is the dreadnought. So the minus one damage to the dreadnought is huge. So this is the big shooter. Uh, sorry about the sixes, Tom. It's all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so I need fives. Oh no, two. Fail one of them, Tom. Do Any it. End? No, fail it. Do it. Ah, oh, Tom. Beautiful two and a three. Can't believe you've done this to me. I'm going to shoot the looter into him. Are you ready? Okay. Do three shots. Two shots. One hit. Oh, lucky blue gits. Nice. Uh, Toughness seven. Uh, fours. Lucky blue gits. Uh, minus two. One, two, one. <gasps> it's a fail anyway, so it's got a minus. And it's one damage. Oh, you've got to feel no pain. How much renders it? Minus one. I think. So I need to do a three up. Yeah, and you rolled a two. Let me do a little check for you, sir. I think it's minus one because the flash gets some more. Do it a minus one. Yeah, so I'm in a predicament at the moment because I've got one CP left. Oh, wow. So do I use a CP now? And then it means I've got to shoot the flash kit that's left into him and some other yeah. stuff. Yeah. 
You ain't got a lot. Well, you got your tank. Tank Buster's can't shoot. Can't tank Buster's can't shoot. So, my War Boss has got a rocket. Yeah. It's an assault weapon, so I can fire it. And then I've got the custom Mega Shooters. From the Mega Nobs are not that much. Yeah. Uh, six up, feel no pain. He's dead. Does he explode? No. No, he implodes. He crumples. In on himself. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, well, I don't. Okay. The, you can't get round to me with a truck, so that's no, a thing. No, so that, uh, yeah, I put the battle, battle wagon there. I didn't expect to kill the Dreadnought. Yeah. Well, he only had four wounds left, so... Yeah, it's true. And my shooting with the kill cannon has been ridiculous this game. I yeah. keep, like, popping off. I'm going to fire a rocket into the Telemon. Yeah. From the war boss. Need a six, that's the opposite of a six. <laughs> ah, he would have hit if I hadn't advanced. So the custom shooters from the Mega Hobbs. I'm going to fire it into the Telemon. I'm just trying to plink a wound. I need sixes, I get two, which means I get two daka daka dakas. I get another hit, I get a lucky blue gits. So that's not bad. Toughness eight. Yeah. I'm gonna lucky blue gits it. He gets a wound. Ah, you Any rend? No, he's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's shooting, that's it. So, we're back in the charge phase. It is the orc charge phase, Sir Crumpington. Has singled out Trajan. This is probably a terrible are you, are you idea. Just going into Trajan. I am just going into Trajan because the Mega Nobs are going to go into the Telemon. Okay. Do I do that? Do I do that? Let's do the Mega Nobs first into the Telemon, okay. and then I'll tell you. <laughs> Mega Nobs. Oh my God! They're that charge good. is huge. They are in. They're falling over, getting in. They're in. Now it's time for Mortal Combat. Are we ready? You can hear the techno going in the background. Hey, I mean, he's in. It's I didn't really need to roll. He it's wanted... time. He just wanted to go into Trajan. Uh, yeah. Because you you were within three anyway, weren't you? Yeah. So... I'm gonna charge the sluggers over here. I don't know what they've got to get. Four, I think we said. Oh, is it? I didn't even measure. Did you measure, Tom? I can't it's... remember if you measured. Yeah, you yeah. measured. Okay. It's that time of the game, peeps. Uh, everyone's brain has gone. That probably needs a re-roll the two. Do I re-roll? Oh, to get more yeah, in. Yeah, to get more in. Oh, do I re-roll both? Oh, I'm scared. Is that That's a one? A one. Ah! <laughs> I hope that he'd have fought Tom. I hope you didn't lie to me. Tom? Tom? Just. You didn't lie to me, Tom. <laughs> you Sorry. can just have one person fight and that's it. <laughs> horrible man. Right, I'll move these in and we'll be back. It is time, it's Mortal Kombat time. Sir Crumpington versus the Emperor's Finest. Six attacks. He is feeling lucky. Tom, I no. don't know where I'm going with this. Hitting on twos, re-rolling. Uh, re-rolling. What the flip? Okay, wounding on twos, because I'm strength 12. Re-rolling for the killer. What is wrong? I've turned into Tom. That is five wounds. A free up in Ooh, I don't even know how many wounds you've got. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Trajan's dead. How many wounds has he got? He's definitely not got 12, 16. I mean, he's a custodian, so I don't know. You got like little mini, mini tactical dreadnoughts rocking around. Uh, he has got seven wounds. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh lord, he's e dead. Even if I re-roll one, he's still dead. He's still dead. Yeah, so that would think. Why can't I roll in Brumble saves? What we've learned is that Sir Crumpington is the biggest, baddest character on this channel. And he yeah. will, I will fight anyone. Not me, I won't fight anyone. I mean, Sir Crumpington will. God, no, I'm not fighting anyone. I'd, I'd, I'd cry. Anyway, moving on. Mega Nobs. So uh, let me just go with some dice. It is time for the Mega Nobs. Me and Tom have lost our minds. We've just had a giggling fit and had to stop filming for 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, so Mega Nobs into the Telemon. So hitting on fours because the power claws are rubbish. Uh, that's, that's really bad. The lucky blue gits. I just dropped one of the dice. Uh, winning on freeze. Yes. Lucky blue gits. So f all wound minus three to your armor, sir. Uh, five up. Oh, you passed one. That's fair enough. And then you take D3 yes. from each, which is terrible. So, so just three damage. Yeah, power claws are rubbish. Not very good, unless it's the killer claw. So yeah, three damage. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. 
I've got to do the boys now. I've got to count loads of attacks out. So I'm going to do that. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. It's time. I've piled in with the Slugger boys over there. 48 attacks, because only so many of them got in, not the full unit. Ooh, okay, let's remove the misses. Again, I'm just aiming for weight of dice to s yeah. hopefully... Is any of them wounded? I don't know if any of them took any wounds. I can't no, remember. they're full wounds. Full wounds. Lucky Blue Gits gets me another one. I'm not gonna lie, I honestly didn't know what you were asking then. <laughs> it's fine. It's that time of the evening. Everyone has given up on the will to play the game. Uh, I'm gonna rem What am I doing? I'm removing the successful. Okay, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Look at me, it's 15 wounds for you, sir. Right, I'll get my dice and roll it. Okay, so 15 have gone through, so 15 two up saves. Yes. Are you ready for eight ones? Please, do it. Uh, three ones. Oh, that's fine. I'll keep that. That's one left on one wound. That is absolutely fine. Have you got anything else to fight? No, that is me done. Cool, so I'll get my dice and I shall retaliate. Yes. Cool, so going with the bikes, fighting back. So, I'll just pile them in, so is in in game trouble. No the problem, sir. So, hit on twos. All good. Wounding on threes. Not good. Four go through. Lucky good blue gets. I don't pass any, so I lose four. There are 26 yeah. left. Then, tell them on Dreadnought into your... Mega Dobbs. Yes. Snippity snip snip. Let's go. Twos. Ooh. And twos? What's your Wait. four? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus! Four go through. What's your minus? Minus four. So uh, you're involved. Yeah, involved. Four go through, wasn't it? Oh really? How much damage? Four. Uh, yeah, the mega knobs are wiped. Immovable. That's what I just rolled. Oh, so they're wiped. That was got... No feel, no pains, nothing. No. But they had a terminator save. Oh, is it Terminator save, not being vulnerable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Terminator save, not being vulnerable. Yeah, there so that, is. That's a so that's squad thing. fight. Yeah, so that was a big swing. And big Talibon fight. And Dreadnought's going into Sir Crumpington. That's not very nice. So I'll remove those. He's going to pile into Sir Crumpington. And then, yeah. I need to remove four boys from over there. And then, at the end of my turn, I gain... Uh, I hold that. So I gain three because it's turn three. I mean, are you able to get that? What? Because we said off camera, I said to yeah. Kyle that it can move them. Yes. But how far do they move? Uh, they move five or six, and I could advance them. They've not shot because they hit behind the terrain. Yeah. Because you need to be holding the. Yeah. So I I just advance. Did they shoot there? No, they didn't. They okay. tucked in behind there. Yeah. yeah. Are you all right with me doing that? Yeah. Because you didn't shoot and it didn't affect anything. Yes. Yeah. So that gets me another three. Yes. So six. That's pretty good. So I gain six off that. And then domination, so I gain another nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. So I'll total my points, and then we'll be back with Tom's turn three. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah, it's huge. Right, so me and Carl just had a ten-minute conversation. Yes. If everything goes well this turn, and next turn, and the turn after, I've won. Yes. But because it's that tight, we need to play out this turn, see what happens. Yeah, and then we can sort of math hammer it and yeah. see where we're at. So I've moved everything up. So I've moved these bikes up. Um, moved the shield captain up as well. So they're within six to re-roll. Very nice. Uh, I'm just thinking if there's any way of getting... No, there isn't. Thinking if I could move the Talamon somehow. To get it, or to get him re-rolls as well. How, just... much, how much damage did you do on Talamon, by the way? Can you remember? Two? Two, yeah. It weren't, it weren't a lot. Uh, six up. <laughs> oh, yeah, feel the pains. So, oh, so he takes one. Yeah. So I'll just count up, so he's lost one. Yeah, no worries, dude. Um, I'll just go into, straight into the shooting phase, just because... Yeah, we're burning through turns here, so we'll go straight into it. Who's going first? So, bikers, all three shots are going to the him. <laughs> Gonna spend the CP on archetype munitions, uh, rolling two D6 instead of one. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty so big. So hitting on twos, re-rolling. Pretty big and pretty painful. Then wounding on threes. Took us eight. Uh, wounding on fours, re-rolling. Fours, re-rolling. Oh, that's a good roll. Just two. What's your minus? Minus good four or something. Like uh, that. if it's minus four, I get no. Lucky blue gets. Lucky blue gets. 
Uh, no, and I have uh, no CP. Oh, fair enough. Uh, so, so first melt missile. Yes. Four. I'm gonna keep it because I need a four upon this. Well, have you got any so, CP left to reroll? Yes. Got one. So ramshackle. I, I don't think he has ramshackle. It's the truck. Oh, does he not? No, no. So that kills him. Kills him. Nine, unless so, he's got ramshackle. Well, I'm just going to check if I have a grot rigger. Because if I have a grot rigger, it yeah. means that he would have healed two wounds. Which means he wouldn't have died. Because he heals at the start of turns. Okay. So I'm just going to check that. I don't think he's got it. I, I think you I think you have to pay for well, it. If he does, I'll probably re-roll the four. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we'll just quickly check that. Okay, so that worked. Yes, um, I didn't have the grot rigger. So he is gone. So CP well spent. That's... One thing gone right so far, but I still need quite a few. <laughs> now on to phase two of the plan. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do the jet bike next into the tank busters. Nice. So uh, literally everything just going into them. That's fair enough. So hitting on twos. We run the three ones. And then you took the spot off. I am indeed, sir. Wounding on fours. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, four. Wow. Six, eight, ten. So, here we go. I need too many sixes to be able to live. Yep. That is the tank buster's wiped. It's coming up, custodies. Anything there is. Could happen. Sick Rumpington is just left. Okay, so going with the Teller one, it's firing literally every, everything into Sir Crumpington. Has Sir Crumpington ever died? No, but he might be about to. <laughs> Touch wood. Here we go. It's a spickless bolt launcher. Yes. It fires twice because it's not moved. Holy moly. So hitting on twos. I pop wisdom as well. I don't know if I've said that. No, one. you didn't. But you reel on the ones. No ones. Nice. Then wounding on fours. Yes, because I'm five. Uh, five. Go through. That's not a very nice number. Invault. Oh boy. What's the minus on the spickless? Is it one? Minus one. So yeah, it's on my four up in Vaughan. Uh, I take two wounds, so I'm down to four. So I will um, knock that down, down. There we go. I could have rolled all of these. Oh, uh, does not matter. Okay. So the... Laser beam? Yes. So Laser. It's called a storm cannon. Oh, okay. So going with the bear, so six shots hitting on twos. Rerolling the ones. And then wounding on threes this time. Okay, here we go. Two go through. I save them both. Crumpington lives for now. <laughs> Two D3 auto hit. Oh, he's got more. Oh, that's not very good. And it is wounding on the threes. Oh boy, I think, to excuse the pun, I right. might be toast. What's the damage? Is it damage one? Damage one, yeah. I pass, I take a wound. Okay, so it's down to three. Yes. So his fist does four damage in combat. So, so it, you could, you, if one gets through. Then. You should have him in theory. Then on to charges. Yes, did you want to do the Telemon? Yeah, so Telemon's. Gonna go in. Auto in. Yeah, yeah. So I'll put him there. So I've got decisions here. I'm, well. I say I've got decisions. I've got to charge the bikes in there, so I'll yeah. that objective. So I'll do... They're one wound, aren't they? They are indeed, sir. So I'll declare both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got That's both. good enough. They're in on a problem. Because then I can go with my shield captain first. Yeah. I can't kill him. Then... Finish him off with the yeah. bikes. That makes sense. Is he uh, just going to the flash gates and the Big Mac? Yes. Yeah. Nice, he's in. Interesting. Who are you going Probably with? in reverse, Terry. <laughs> Who are you going for first? <laughs> well, you've got no, <laughs> no CP. Yeah, so just... So just... Tell him on. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Hitting on twos. I think it's a dead oak. Hitting on twos. I think it's a dead oak. Three have gone through. Dead. I'm glad that we could yeah. finish this fight. Oh. So Grumpington dies! Finally. He finally dies. Ah. So, that is the fourth thing gone right? Third thing? Many things have gone right. Yeah. 
So it's going well. So I'll do the shield captain next. Yes. Into the mega... The Big Mac. Big Mac, yeah. So it's got five attacks. Yes. Hitting on twos. Rear on the ones. What's your toughness? Toughness four, good sir. So wounded on freeze, re rolling. <laughs> that is a Holy good moly! So a free go through. A uh, good Renzo involved. Here. Yeah, just six up. I don't pass any, so I am dead, I assume. D3 damage. Oh, yeah, I should be dead. I'm dead. Splat. He is in the deck pile that is growing for the orcs. Don't give me hope. <laughs> Come on, Tom. What have you got left? The the biker boys? Yes, so uh, four attacks each. The biker boys from Mars. They're going in. So hit in on twos. Re roll the, the ones. ones. And then wounding on freeze re rolling. I'm yes. guessing. So I've got three, six, nine in total. Here we go. It's probably a dead unit. Is it a dead unit? Big turn. That's huge. That is huge. Uh, the biker boys are there. We've not finished yet, Tom. Got to keep going. You fight first. I yeah. Ignore me, Tom. What am I doing? Yeah. I go first, don't I? I are you all right? Are you all, are you all right over there, Tom? Do you need yeah. a minute? No. Well, I do. <laughs> Right, I'll pass the camera to Tom and I'll do some crumping. Over here, the ox are swinging in. So I've got like 70 something attacks. 76, so 38 twice. Hitting on freeze. I've not dropped that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 29 of hit. Yes. So 29 hits so far. So just hit nine times so you can just roll that amount of dice. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. And then 53, 54, so 54. Yeah. And this was 38, so these and then another 12. Okay. So, it's a lot of dice. Yeah. <laughs> On fives! Okay. Let's take out the fives and the sixes. There's actually quite a few. I've not missed any. Looking for the gates. No. So you've got six. I've lost the ability to maths. 15. Okay, I'll get my dice and roll it. So 15 two observes. Whoa! That is the squad. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. That's a thing that happened. Yeah. Wowzers. So everything that I thought weren't going to pull off, pulled off, then the thing that... We didn't expect, yeah. actually, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's... that's fun. Oh. It was on one moon left, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. So that's... that. How do you feel you... Good turn when? We still need to work out whether I can win. Yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Take a break, we're going to work out, we're going to do some hammering of the maths, and then we're either going to be sat down, or we'll be playing out my turn four. Yes. So back in a second. So here we are, we are in the post-game chat. As you can see, we've math hammered it, yeah. and I win, but only just... Yeah, by four points. Four points. So what I did is the shooter boys, I rolled in advance, I jumped onto the middle objective, I claimed it, which meant that, because I'm objective secured, I held it, so I gained four points. Tom didn't get the four points, which meant, in the end, I literally won by, like, three points or something. Yeah. Tom would have just nicked it, but I, me doing that just takes it. Yeah, that pre, like, the last turn, I literally killed everything I needed to kill. Yeah. Uh, what, well, I, I was going to say what I've realised is I could have used Trajan's free strat, but... There was never really a point where I needed you to You had something it. that you could have used. Yeah. I'm glad I killed Trajan. So that's a moral victory for me. And then you got I've, to... I've just fought. Go on. I swear he's got a... Um, a little, uh, it might be a fight again at the end of the oh, turn or okay. something. Not a dying fight, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh! Because that would have been... Well, mind you, it would have come to the same result. Yeah. 
I'm keeping my head held high because that was a really good game. That's really, really I, close. Even though I, I lost, it's not a loss to me because yeah. I managed to keep up with Kyle. You went toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Yeah. Um, I had to be really smart. Like, I had to really think about what I didn't have to be brutal. I had to be cunning and brutal. Yeah. So I had to use my, my cle the clever side of my heart brain and I had to properly think about where I was doing and yeah. position the units because if I didn't, you could have easily... You could not... Not easily won that, but you you would have you could have won it. I just had to really think about my positioning yeah. on like what objectives I were taking and stuff like tap it in the bikes with the right call as well. Yes. As it turned yeah. out, because I thought about going for the guardians over there, and I'm like, no, I'll just ignore them and then tap it the bikes. And the captain got away, and I was like, if I let that, ca if I'd have, I let the captain get away, which in the end didn't really matter. Yeah, but. Well, I, it would mean that he weren't over here. Yeah, so that's true. You he couldn't get in because he had to advance to get to there. That's true. So maybe... I think I still think it was the right call. Yeah. Letting the captain So, go. key points of the game, which led to your yeah. win. Killing the grab tank. Because yeah. you obviously didn't know what... No, I didn't know what he did. I was just like, I'm going to shoot it. It had a lot of shots. Yeah. And if I went turn one, I probably would have won. Like... Lost, you, yeah, yeah. You can't really judge it from that. Yeah. Quite a bit. 14 shots. You'd got, you got... I've got the D3 plus 3 beam, yeah. which would have took out one of your trucks or whatnot. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, I'm glad I shot the tank. Yeah. I didn't know what it did, so I was just like, it needs to die. And on this side, when you had the squad of boys, I yeah. should have more focused that instead of going for your burning bomb and that run two wounds. Yeah. It was, it was a choice of I knew what the burning bomber could do. And even even though they jumped and um, whatnot. Yeah, the it, the boys for me did what I said they'd do. They bounced off you, but there were just that many that I tapped it. Well, again. they're in combat four turns, nearly. Yeah, it's where the boys want yeah. them. They're having a good scrap. So, but uh, I, I don't know whether I said this on camera, but I t end of turn one, I thought this list was a hard counter against orcs, but I think it was. Kind of balanced. It still did really well. I thought but it was a really good objective list. Objective wise, it lacks against orcs. I've just got so many bodies. Yeah, against space marines. Oh, against space marines, I think would have been a lot better. Uh, yeah, it'd be this list against yeah, space or marines would be interesting. Death guard, maybe. Yeah, it, the thing is, it'd be interesting. But the problem is your bikes, which have got loads, of, a lot of your daca, which will rinse in my boys and stuff. Yeah. It's against Marines, you don't got any AP, which is the problem that I have with the boys currently. I want the choppers to have minus one. Oh, choppers with minus one AP would be so good. But I think if they had minus one, they'd, they'd need either a points cost increase or they need to lose an attack somewhere because they're mm. getting four attacks already. Yeah. So four attacks with minus one AP. I suppose. Like in the, in I suppose the they wouldn't, actually, because everyone's had a massive power jump. Yeah. So maybe they wouldn't. That's me being wishful thinking yeah. as the art player. But maybe maybe they might. We'll have to wait and see. But to every like Marines got extra AP. Yeah. They didn't get too much of a points jump. They're still like 220 points for 10 assault and assessors. Yeah. With like yeah. a better save and better leadership. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's pretty scary. Um, Is there anything in the game that you popped up that before... You should have done differently, or I should have done differently. It's going to sound really big-headed. I don't think I should have done anything different. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as big-headed as it's meant well, to the, sound. The only thing I think what? you shouldn't have done is move the burner bomber here. Where do you think I should have put the burner bomber? I think you should have kept him back. I can't, he's turn. got to move. He's a oh, flyer. He's got to right, move minimum yeah. of 20. And Even I if might... you moved him up yeah. the middle of the table. My... Just... Go on, yeah. Just a sort of presence. My theory what is that if I move him in the minimum 20 is it middle of board, you're just going to nuke him. Yeah. So I had to just, which is what happened. Because the melter missiles, yeah. as soon as you moved him there, I thought it's an easy target. I thought you were going to melt the missile me anyway if I went there. So yeah. I, I felt like maybe I should have made him explode. But it would have been the same difference really, wasn't it? Yeah. It did, you know, it didn't really change anything. In the grand scheme of things. That was a really good game. Yeah. Look, <laughs> looking back, like there's... A, um, we might have made one mistake or like yeah. nothing major. No, I thought we both played it. I thought you played it really well. I thought I played it really well. I thought it was a really, really well fought, close game. 
the only thing like I think I could have done yeah. is so when the boys was there, yeah, the squad of four on the objective just running away, yeah, because then I've the next turn I've got um, you shoot thirty six yeah. thirty six shots with yeah, I get what you're saying, but it might not have mattered. You you really really can't judge again. No, that's the thing, you don't know. It's easy yeah. to say, oh, I should have done this, or like I say, oh, I should have done this, but you don't know, because you could be like, yeah, I'll do that, but then you just roll loads of ones. Yeah, th this is the first game I've had with Custody, uh, Custody sorry, where I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed them. Yeah. There was, it was a hard game. There was a lot of points like, where I did roll badly, yeah. but there were a lot of points where I rolled well. Yeah, I, it was a hard game for me. Like I said, I had to really think. Yeah. Like, my, my brain's gone. I had to really think about positioning and doing certain stuff right. The, the only thing that were obnoxious, maybe, was the Dreadnought exploding and killing my <laughs> guard. Yeah. If, if that wouldn't have happened, yeah. so I don't know what would have happened, but, no. you know. It's, <laughs> it's just one of them things, and yeah. it just happens. But really good game. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, and hopefully you guys at home did. And as always, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the future for more Battle Report.